So uh, I think I'll talk about my most challenging part of being on set. Anybody who knows me, not yeah. the biggest animal person in the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brian does And then um, on one day, I got put in the position of dog wrangler. Yes, he was. Uh, he got to wrangle a beautiful, beautiful young pup named Muggsy. Muggsy. Muggsy, Muggsy. He was a basset hound. Mm-hmm. Um, Floppy ears. Yes. Brian, you you spent a lot more time with him. Tell us more about Muggsy. <laughs> Muggsy was not drinking Diet Coke. Like You're the, right. Like the ginger prince. Mm. No, very well-behaved dog for not being... Any sort of not having any sort of training for film or stage, zero Hollywood animal training. <laughs> <laughs> zero Hollywood animal training <laughs> responded very well. Yes, he did, did everything on cue. Mainly because almost I was holding him in like a complete body hold, <laughs> and the whole scene I'm ducking behind a counter in the kitchen, mm-hmm. and if I like even just put my butt up an extra inch, you would have seen me. <laughs> I'm just holding <laughs> holding this big basset hound. Waiting for this one piece of dialogue as a cue, and then just release. <laughs> just letting him go. Just let him go. Yeah. Until a few hours later, when didn't want to move at all. <laughs> yeah, there was an, yeah the, the tired scene... t- tired like the rest of us. Yeah, there was something that needed to happen on cue, and well, he he had to pass in front of a, a, a in, young lady, young man in front uh, of the camera, getting cozy on the couch. Yeah, and he would not move. Uh, we had pieces of bacon. We were had Cliff Bar out there. <laughs> yes. And he just looked un- uninterested, and he just yapped at a couple, tried to bite some hands. Yeah, he almost yeah. got me. I was, like, um, pushing his butt with both hands, like, gotta go. You have to go. The cue is go. over. And then just a, <laughs> okay, yeah. wait till next take. Good money. <laughs> <laughs>